But first, a nation in waiting has finally learned its fate. Julia Gillard this week scraped past the finishing post to form government with the help of two independents, Tony Windsor and Rob Oakeshott. A third independent, Queensland's Bob Catter, sided with the coalition. The dust is slowly settling, but not the recriminations. I spoke with veteran Queensland National Senator Ron Boswell earlier today. Senator Boswell, how does it feel for the coalition to be pipped at the post right at the last minute? It's absolutely disappointing and it's a terrible experience. But what makes it worse is that we were bushwhacked by our own colleagues. Were you surprised when you saw which way the three independents threw their support? Uh, no, I wasn't. I always knew Bob Catter would do the right thing. Uh, I thought Windsor... Uh, I thought Windsor may vote with us, but I knew Oakeshott would never vote for us. What are your feelings toward those two men right now? You never let personal bitterness interfere with uh, what you think. Uh, I think they let the side down very badly. They've let their constituents down very badly. Uh, and their day of reckoning will probably come. You've had some pretty strong things to say about Tony Windsor and Rob Oakeshott, but why couldn't Tony Abbott, who's in coalition with the Nationals, the party which is supposed to represent the Bush, come up with better policies to bring two country independents on side? Well, I understand from Warren Truss, who I've always believed to be a straight shooter, that we had a very good package, a package that was better than the Labor Party's package. But I don't think if we offered to paved the streets of Tamworth with gold, uh, that Windsor was going to come over under any price. And Oakeshott was definitely not going to come over. So our package was better. Even the broadband policy? The package that we were offered, we offered, I understand was better. Now a lot of the Labor Party package is funded by a mining tax. So you're taking off the bush with one hand and trying to give it back with the other. You're going to take jobs off the bush. But I don't think it would have mattered what happened. Their, their decision was going to be that they were not going to support uh, a coalition. And that goes back to the time when Anderson did uh, Windsor over a couple of times in pre-selections. He's had a chip on his shoulder ever since then. There isn't a happy history between the Nationals and these two men, but do you really believe that they put a personal grudge or some sort of payback before what they deem to be best for the country and well, their electorate? How electorates? else can you interpret it? When the Labor vote in New England was 8% and the, the Labor vote in uh, line was about 13%. Uh, so that was a clear indication of how many people wanted Julia Gillard to be the Prime Minister in those two seats. So how else can you interpret it? And I'm, I think the people of New England and Line must be waking up and scratching their heads and saying, how did my vote, how did my vote put a Labor government in? How did my vote put a Labor government in? And it's worse than a Labor government. It's a Labor government aligned with the Greens. It's a Green Labor coalition. Is it wise to keep criticising them, though, when the coalition might need them to reject Labor legislation or to support coalition legislation? People always said that about Pauline Hanson. Don't attack her, don't touch her. Uh, one day she, they, she might come back to us. Well, how long do you leave it? You've referred to this Labor Green government. The Greens have their first MP in the lower house, the first senator in Queensland, and they hold the balance of power in the Senate. Is this just what Australians want? Well, I think that uh, Australians are going to have to see and examine the policies of the Greens before they know what they have voted for. Uh, do they want a withdrawal of the Australian-American alliance, because that's the Green... Uh, that's one of the green policies, or uh, uh, ETS without the rest of the world joining in and we'll be the only people with an ETS. That's their policy. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm of the opinion, and I don't want to make uh, any observations why people voted, but maybe some people thought the Greens was a nice, safe haven to take your vote if you didn't want to make a decision between Tony Abbott or the Labor Party. Senator Boswell, thank you. Thank you.